God's royal priest in the campus. Campus, why? Because where you study. This, is, this guy is very interesting, Ol, Olin. His name is Olin. They thought he's my son. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you know, Olin started to share the gospel. That's him. So he has his follow-up discipleship. So meaning he shared the gospel and he's doing follow-up. And there's a discipleship group. Church partner being trained and mobilized. And he has church form. Because what, what was the vision is to start churches in the campus. Student churches. You know, some of them, they cannot attend a church if they are restricted by their parents. Sunday, you have to be with your parents. But they attend a church in campus. Some of them are free, so they can be integrated in the church of all in. But many of them just in the campus. So what happened? You see uh, Joe Marie, you know, uh, Paolo. Joe Marie was instrumental in doing all of these groups. Paolo, Mark there, and then Chad is from Joe Marie. So one, two, three, four generations. What happened? Over 300, you can see there, huh? over 300 actually are now part of the eight churches formed in the campus in a matter of four years' time. So, over 300 disciples, eight churches were formed, 400 believers trained and mobilized, 40 new believers baptized yearly, and in four years' time, just one student who understood the priesthood of all believers, who understood that he has to multiply, who understood that he is supposed to start a movement. Are you excited? This is exciting. It's happening. This is in Bicol University in Ligaspi City. And we're seeing this in several campuses now. Not just there, but in different parts of the country. There are movements happening even in campuses. These are just students. These are not seminary graduates. Very basic knowledge of sharing the gospel. Very basic knowledge of making disciples and handling a small group. Now, when they become professionals, do you think they will stop? No. no. If they work overseas, then they will plant churches overseas. From Bicol University, maybe one somebody will go to wherever. You really don't know. And start a movement. So where you live, where you work, where you study, God is ours that we reproduce, yeah. we grow, we multiply. That's our calling as royal priests. Okay? So, I am really convinced that the only way world evangelization will be accomplished is if millions of royal priest Christians will live out their faith, no? Wherever they live, work, or study throughout the world. That will really only happen if we really understand. Let me close with this verse. No, Matthew 4, 19. Of course, uh, you see this in several parts of the gospel. Come follow me and I will make you fishers of men. What is our job? Come follow me, Jesus said. What is our job? To follow him. And what is God's his responsibility, Jesus' responsibility? And I will make you fishers of men. That's why we, we need not struggle. Why? Because our job is simply to follow Him. We struggle if we, we thought we are the fishers of men. Or, we, or, or, or that we are responsible to make us fishers of men. We are fishers of men. Yeah. But it's God who will make us one. We just make ourselves available. So if we do that, then we can just enjoy. No? And really see fishing, lapu lapu, big one. a big one. Bigger than 
So, participating in the global harvest will really become a reality. Just like the Apostle Paul in 2 Timothy 2.2. 2. Paul has his Timothy, Paul has his Priscilla and Aquila, has his Titus, Silas and others. But all of them are faithful men and women. They have others and others and others. This should be our goal. This should be what we would like to see accomplished. Again, the challenge here is we always see the old model. We want to see this. This is not a political